1080 again. I wonder if the, the 360 was because we kept crashing, and so it was thinking that our overall upload rate was low. I yeah, maybe. something to do with that. Check out these messages in the back. Symbol search unavailable due to an internal error. Wow. Semantic classification currently unavailable due to an internal area error. Inheritance margin is currently unavailable due to an internal error. Isn't that mm. crazy? I cannot even click on the buttons to show the stack trace on this in the back. In fact, it's totally not responsive. If I click, try to click the help menus, it's it's dead just like Chrome was. Is dead. there anything behind Task Manager, like a modal dialog that's popped up for Studio? No, I'd hear it if that was the case. Okay. I'd hear it when I was clicking on it. Um, okay. All right. So, uh, I don't know, we're, you know, just, you know, sinking. Into well, stability is uh, not working terribly well. But on the other hand, right. our knowledge is growing in terms of DMX lighting. Right. That's true. The piece that we don't understand, did you have the, the link of the... Um, I uh, that you did myself a search off the back of the title, and yes, I got a link to the document. Can you put that Let in the chat room for us? find that. Uh, by the way, here, uh, greetings to everybody out there who's watching us hobble along. Yeah, I, I've been like resistant to get a uh, resistant to get a um, new machine because I think that's the only way out of this because my skill set's not enough to debug this and figure out what's going on. So that's kind of where I'm at. Mm. Um, <clears throat> the DMX test is not responsible. I think now it is. All right, so back over here again. We're going to say. At 10, this is the control of red, 20, and 30. And we're going to say uh, 44, 44, 44. And we're going to say send data, send data, send data. And there it is. So that part does work, and then it goes off like that. And we don't yeah. understand why does it go off. I was hoping that the, uh, that the documentation might have something in there. Like, we can do something that says keep sending a signal every few seconds. Like, I'm okay doing that. Okay. But I just I'm going to go out on a wanted... limb and say Surly's playing with the drones. <laughs> Surly, our drones have not been working for a while now, so the speed at which you're trying to create them for your uh, display team, I'm thinking is just causing most of them to detonate. And we do not have names on them either for some reason. So I doubt you're going to have a lot of luck there. It's just a nightmare. Is there and kids? You've... Oh, no, not frozen. Looked like it gone again, but... Surely um, it my detective house? skills are okay. <laughs> So were they not moving around? I, th I see them all up there. They were, there was about eight different explosions in the same place. Do you remember how some of them were just immediately dying? Well, so many came in at once, I figured it was a display team rather than a single drone. That and a distinct lack of um, messages in the chat room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just blew up a bunch of yours because I hit the dock button. Uh, okay. Um, so if not for the fact that we're not a particularly stable stream currently, we, we do now have the ability to send, albeit fairly transient ex instructions to the lights. We don't know about why it would be resetting at the moment, why it would auto off, so to speak. Um, obviously.
Yeah, well, at least when I was in Costa Rica, I could blame the power. Yeah, it's all in my machine now. It's all memory-related issues. Just so you kids know, I'm, I'm like taking screenshots of these dialogues. I'm getting all kinds of stuff here. Uh, here's NVIDIA share saying an exception. Uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, it feels like, although OBS is obviously the main symptom that we can see because the stream crashes, it feels like there's some part of your memory or some some part of something which is hardware related and just kills whatever happens to be in it. Yeah, uh, that's what it really seems. It really does. Yeah, that, this one's interesting. OBS64.exe. A breakpoint has been reached. That's it's just that's what it says. Uh, mm. I'm trying to figure out why the lights, intelligent lights, randomly shut off. Turns off randomly. Yeah, it's not random. It's pretty consistent in our case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I lights turn off when they want to. Have we got a consistent length of time? What do we what do we think that is? Yes. Five seconds? No, no, no. It's yeah, it's about four and a half seconds, I think is what it is. Uh here, let's see if we can get it to to happen now. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six seconds if I'm counting like that. Okay. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Yeah. So it's like I've got to refresh every few seconds. I mean, we can do that. I, I, we can make this work, but it feels wrong. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm looking for something to explain why. Why is it, what's happening here? Uh, familiar, faulty. The light is off after working for a while. The temperature of a working environment is too high and cause overheat protection. I don't think that's the case. Because this is six seconds. The beam is dark, obviously. Check if there's too much dust on the surface of the light. I don't think these are hot at all. Let me check. They're totally cool. The fan's running and they're cool. So oh. it's, it's not temperature related issues. Um, it's not. And there doesn't seem to be anything necessarily here where we're, um, I don't know, we can go look at this. Are we going to crash again? I'm smelling a crash. You're okay oh, on my it? Skype so far. Yeah, but I'm smelling it. It's I'm loading a page and Chrome's taking a while to load. That's uh, okay. a symptom of a crash, <coughs> of imminent crash. Uh, it's not flickering. Yeah, I was thinking, well, maybe there's a setting somewhere that says, you know, how long till you automatically shut off. But it does not make sense. Why would I have to, why would I have to continuously send a signal? It's the opposite of how I would, I, I would design it. Yeah. It's like the worst, the worst the worst design is what I'm imagining. Um, but we can do it. We can set something up and do it. Um, that's what we can do. Let's create a new document and at least write down. We'll write down what we know. Or is this not going to I am having well? zero luck searching for things involving the NTEC DMX with five or six seconds. It's not going to be the Entech. I'm pretty sure it's these lights up at the top. It's the thing we searched for before. I think okay, the problem so is the in these. Okay, branding behind the lights then? What? The well, branding? If, if the Entech is the, the sort of transmitter, if that's what I'm sort of understanding. What's the branding of the lights itself? Elan. It looks, it looks like it's this thing. multi part can, 54 watt times 3 RGB. Okay. RGB. White. Now, we, we didn't get the white to work on this, but I'm expecting that to happen. Channel 4 is the white. I'm going to try white. I think we can get white to work. Uh, I think there's four LEDs in here because the um, product name has a W at the end for white. So I'm going to try 14, 
24 and 34 and see if we can get white out of these. Nope, it's red. They're all red. Do I have to go turn red off before white will work? Let's send 0, 0, 0 out here. 0, 0, 0. Turn red off. Okay, that's done. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like I have to send a signal out, just keep sending something out to it. And it could, maybe it is, you know, I was thinking it was these lights, but maybe your your intuition was right, Rory. Maybe it is the Entech piece. Uh, and maybe I do have to restart my PC for some reason. Um, oh, that's an interesting possibility, yeah. All right, so now all of these are off. Let's go back and try 14, 14, 14, send it to... Not 44, 44, 44. Do we get white light now? We don't. So maybe this is not the same model. Maybe my model is only an RGB model, not an RGBW model. That's like my kind of idea. Um, okay, since uh, I'm not really having as much fun as I normally have because things aren't working. Uh, I think I am going to end it, Roy. I'm going to say thanks for hanging yeah. out with us today. That's no what you. I'm going to give you a, your awesome <laughs> fanfare <laughs> on the way out. out. Yeah. This will take us out, kids. And did I crash? Just still Something with me happened? on Skype. I can what still happened? see you. What, what happened? Why did we lose the Rory thing? I don't even understand that. That no, died. I'm going to. I'm going to get a raid going here, guys. It's a sign. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll send you over to Triple B. Um, thanks for joining us, everybody. You guys were way better than I was. Uh, I'll I'll look into getting a new machine. I just don't want to do it yet. We'll all catch right. you all tomorrow. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Hopefully you'll have a better day. Uh, talk to you later, kids. Bye. Starting the raid in like uh, two seconds.